We're going to tear into a Kawasaki Vulcan motor today. We've got the, the rear of uh, the engine here. We've got the front here. We've got our intake manifolds here, exhaust manifolds here. And in the back here, we've got our clutch cover over here and our stator magneto assembly over here. So I'm going to sh go through now and I'm going to dismantle the top end. I'm going to show you how to remove the heads. Uh, remove piston cylinder, get that out of the way, and then clutches and stator. So we've already got the cylinder head cover off here. We've shown a couple other videos on uh, adjusting valves, stuff like that. So make sure you check those videos out. That is why we have this head cover off at this time. All right, we're going to pull the, the front cylinder head cover off here. It is three 10 millimeter bolts that you've got to remove and they're specialty bolts so make sure you keep those um, in the right spot we've got the rear i'm gonna set that right on top keep all those bolts together there now we have our our two cams we've got a, a dual cam on either uh, cylinder head here we've got our intake here exhaust here same on this one intake and exhaust i'm gonna go ahead and remove these cams we've got 10 millimeter 10 millimeter bolts holding these camshafts on there what you want to do is make sure you remove your cam chain tensioner that's over here and then there'll be one on the other side as well, right over here. Make sure you remove those before you uh, remove these cams. The reason why you want to do that beforehand is because there will be some tension on these cam chains. Because of the tensioner, typically it'll do this. They won't even loosen up until you take and kind of tap on that cam chain tensioner. That'll remove the cam chain tensioner. There is a gasket or an O-ring there that'll seal that up. Now we've got some tension there. And you can see it's a little bit, a little bit less. All right, then we also have a, a tensioner here. That is a 17 millimeter plug there. You've got a, that spring pushes, pushes against that guide that's in there, and that'll loosen it even more. We'll set that aside. We'll go and do the other side here. And because of where it's at, we're gonna have to get a wrench in there to do that. We got the top one here. Again, this is a 17 millimeter cap. This is to the front of the motorcycle there. I'm gonna remove that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tensioner here. Got our socket that can pull this one. And now we've got this front tensioner that's ready to come off here. Take and tap on that to break that seal free. We've got a hose, an oil line here. That is kind of holding this up. But I'm gonna remove this oil line here. We've got those two eight millimeter bolts off. We've got a 10 millimeter up top here. Another 10 millimeter lubricating the front cylinder head there. We've got an oil line that's clear down here. Takes an 18 millimeter and this has an oil sensor on this plug here. We'll remove this entire thing, which you probably won't be able to see very well from the angle you are. That will should free us up here and should be able to move this oil line right off of here. There we go, oil line's free. Take and pull that up there. That's a specialty oil line, obviously. So make sure you keep track of which direction that's going together. And now we'll be able to pull our tensioner off there. Again, that's the front. We're gonna pull these camshafts off here. Going to the rear here, gonna do the same thing. All right, now you can just take, and once all those bolts are free there, you can just take and lift up on these. If any of these bolts are have got even a thread attached, It'll cause you some grief, so make sure those are completely unthreaded before you start going up with it. There's the front is off. Now we've got our back here. Okay, and we'll pull these off. Now this is the rear, so I'm gonna set that with the rear. We've got our cam sprockets here that we're just gonna kind of pry up and out of place there. We'll be able to pull them off. Put that with the rear parts there. Again, with the rear parts, I'm gonna let this chain drop because we are just gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna keep track of where that chain is there. And then do the same for the front. We've got intake here and exhaust here. Intake side is actually a little bit longer. So that would be a notable difference there. Same way with this intake on this side. So intakes are longer, keep that in mind. The rear cylinder ready to come off here. We've got a rubber gasket that fits down into these camshaft cutoffs here. Just make sure um, that you don't damage this gasket here. They are hard to get a hold of now. Uh, we've got 14 millimeter head bolts, uh, four of them here, and then four of them on this cylinder. We also have 10 millimeter head bolts down the bottom here. We've got 10 millimeter nuts here that are uh, castle nut 
right down your spark by your spark plug hole there. And then you've got a 12 millimeter uh, nut that comes up from the bottom on that stud there right underneath your intake. So make sure you find all those before you try pulling this apart. You also have one on the uh, exhaust side under the exhaust manifold. You can pull the exhaust manifolds. You don't have to to remove this cylinder head, but we're going to just because a lot of times it's easier to impact them here while they're attached to the, the actual cylinder and the motor here um, rather than trying to wrestle with it on the bench there. Those nuts that are down in that head, we're actually just gonna leave for the, at this point. We wanna make sure we are careful with the washers that are down in there. We have a rear cylinder head ready to come off here. One other thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you uh, remove that cylinder head, or you won't be able to remove that cylinder head because that cam chain will wrap around your spark plug plug there. So I grabbed a, a bigger pair of pliers here, stick them inside here. You can get an Allen wrench to fit this, but you can take and a lot of times Put enough pressure out just like that. You can un unscrew these caps. You can also get these reverse pliers that you push down just like a normal set of pliers. It expands then and you can remove it that way. I've got a set of those too that a lot of times I'll use. But there's your, your plug there and then it'll actually go down. Uh, that cam channel will then drop. Now you can take and pull up on these. Then you can just take and walk that head off of there. We'll take and put that on its side. I told you we we're going to pull this. Uh, exhaust manifold here, I'll do that at this point. It's a 12 millimeter. There. A lot of times these get pretty rusty. All right, and that exhaust manifold is ready to pull off there. We also have our shield that is gonna come off with it. And there's our exhaust manifold. We'll put that with the rear stuff there. We've got our cylinder head here. We've got our valves there. We've got four valves, two exhaust and intake. We wanna make sure we keep track of all those cylinder head nuts. I'm gonna set this aside and let this head drain the oil that's in it. We've got our cylinder head gasket here we can pull off. Remove that. We've got this guide here we can remove. It takes a 10 millimeter. It's a specialty bolt there. So make sure you keep track of those. There's also an O-ring that'll seal these up. So just be careful when you're removing these. We'll set this with the rear cylinder parts. There's your Guide there, kind of an unusual guide setup there. Keep that all together. Our chain is loose there, and then we've got a separate chain that goes down into our uh, crankcase there. Remove this cap. And now we've got a screwdriver, kind of put some pressure on it, and then there's just a shaft that comes out here. And those sprockets will drop down. That. Going up to the front here, we've got the front exhaust manifold, 12 millimeter bolts again to remove that. Those are removed, go ahead and pull this off. We've got our cylinder here with a, a 12 millimeter bolt on the front and on the back of this motor. And check the sides here, we've got these 10 millimeter castle nuts that we already have loosened up. We'll go ahead and pull these. Again, over on this side, we've got your spark plug tube here off of there we've got this here that'll hold that uh, gear on for our cam chain remove those so those guides can get out of there and go ahead and lift this front cylinder head off of there same thing on this side you've got the nuts that will fall out there in your washers so pay attention to those this has got a good set of valves on there we'll set that aside We've got our two guides there that we can pull out now. Take our screwdriver and slide this shaft out again. There's actually a, a area for threads in here so you can take one of your head bolts or just a uh, metric bolt there, slide it in, you can pull it out using that. Our 12 millimeter bolts down in there. Those bolts are out. All right, you can take a rubber mallet there, kind of tap on these cylinders. We've got the front one here, and we're getting ready to slide that one off. A lot of times it'll take, again, a little bit of persuading there. Okay, and once you get it started then, it'll just slide right off of there. So that's your front cylinder. Inspect those walls, make sure they're in good condition. And we've got our piston here. I'll show you how to remove those. Okay, same thing in the back. 
Once it's free, just take and pull it off just like that. We've got our back piston here. We've got a rear cylinder. We'll measure that, make sure it's not out of round, make sure it's in good condition. And then we'll take and put these on um, top dead center, which is the highest point up. And we'll go ahead and remove these piston pins here. We'll take and take a pick, pry out on in the groove there. I like to put my finger over top of there. The circlet doesn't go flying there. And you can just take your finger, push out the pin there, get it completely out, and we'll take and slide everything back together. That way it all stays together. These pistons appear to be in really good condition, but we'll inspect it. We may end up having to put new rings in there. We'll see once we, once we get everything cleaned up and ready to go back together. Put the piston pin, the clip back in there. I take and I shove the closed end in as far as I can. Take a pick or a screwdriver, slip that back into place there. That keeps everything together. And then do the same with the uh, rear cylinder here, or the rear piston. Okay, this piston, we're having a uh, challenging time getting this crank up far enough. We obviously have some a crank that shot down here. It's not turning all the way, so I'm gonna leave this piston in at this time. We're gonna be able to split that case without removing this piston. Then I'll be able to pull that, get that pin out once these cases are split here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove a couple more eight millimeter bolts that are holding us together there, and then we'll have this case split.